here we are. We're now in front of the second tomb or the first tomb, whatever you will uh, find out. And Maxim Martin, you will follow uh, a little bit of the church for you. I cannot go into the church uh, with the video. He won't let me. But I already did it, that I'm blessed inside the church at the tomb. The tomb structure that you see here is from the 19th century, but it's on the original site of the tomb of Jesus. And if we will continue to talk about it, it's not only the tomb, the tombs actually, it's the resurrection uh, place. Then although it's called the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the um, Greek Orthodox call it the Church of the Resurrection. And in a way, I accept that name better than the other. Um, the tomb is divided into two. The first part, Maxine, is um, the Chapel of the Angels. It took care that no one will steal the body of Christ. You can see the candle in it. And the inner part is the tomb itself. Now, if it's okay by you, let me take you to see another tomb here. Because remember the question was, how can it be that the church of the Holy Sepulchre is you know, in the middle of the city? And it is the center of the city of today. And we know that the Jews have been buried outside the walls. And we know that the garden of Joseph of Ramitia was outside the wall as well. Then, hmm, what's happening here? According to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre believers, that place was outside the city at the time of Jesus. The city of Jesus is 2,000 years old city. Can you remember what's happened 2,000 years at Manhattan? Or in your city? I'm sure that it looks totally different, especially Manhattan. But let me take you to visit another tomb next to Jesus tomb. And that is different than the tomb of uh, um, that we saw earlier at the garden tomb. <coughs> First of all, the, the room that you see here is, I mean, the, that wall is from 4th century, from the beginning of the church, from the time of St. Helen and Constantine. Secondly, the room that you see here in front of you looks like a dump in the most important church, or not. Um, because that church, not like the other one that we saw there, Peterville Gardens, that church belongs to almost everyone, Catholic, French, uh, uh, Greek Orthodox, Armenian, um, uh, the Syrianic Church, uh, Coptic Church, name it, it's there. Now that room uh, is kind of a debate. There's a lot of debate who owns that room. It was belongs to the uh, Coptic and uh, sorry to the Ethiopian, then the, and then the Armenian. The, um, sorry, the Syrianic Church. The Armenian believes it's their church now, their chapel now. I don't know. Then I don't want to go into politics anyhow. But for me, the most important thing is that place. And this is a tomb. We actually talked about how they used to bury people. But let me use the flashlight. And you can see Maxime. Martin. That, it looks different. You see the niches. The story is the same story. Um, this is a, a very typical uh, second century, first century uh, tomb, second temple time, Jesus time. The other one that we saw, the garden tomb, is earlier than that, but 
um, you cannot actually put a finger and say, all right, from that date, we have that kind of, uh, of uh, tools. Then in that case, it can be there, it can be here. But by visiting those two places, you can actually say, I've been in the tomb of Jesus. Or at least I know the story. And let me remind you, my friends, remember, she is our, our mother now. She's, uh, she needs our love, because I think she's just full with love. Then don't forget her, write her messages. Um, talk with her uh, through the YouTube. And if she will want, she can send us her email. And you can actually write her through her email. I'm doing something, and, and th this is me. I need to help everyone. And uh, although she didn't ask me for that, but the minute she wrote, um, I'm alone, uh, it, she became my mission and she became part of like my second mother. But this is the tomb, but you know, because we are already here, let me show you two more places here. I will do it quickly, then you will see. We are going backward. He actually resurrected, and before that he was buried. Uh, look at the Armenian chapel. And let me... Bless the cross in the place that they purify the body of Jesus. You can see it through there. Here it is. Just after he died, before he was put in the tomb, then the naked body of Jesus touched it. And the gold tower. Is right there. Let's climb it for like two more minutes. Just to bless the cross. And to show a little bit more of the church. This is the Catholic part. You can see where they're nailing to the cross. And the Pieta, Mother Sutter, suffering the agony of Mary. With the spear in her heart, she knew for almost day one that her son will die in front of her eyes. It will be like a spear will enter to her heart, she said. They told her. And this is the crucifixion place. That's a clock. That's the exact spot of the crucifixion. You can see John to the right, Mary to the left. Let me go out to show you the facade of the church and then we will say goodbye.
please don't forget to subscribe. And if you do have some questions, don't hesitate. In the description, you will find my professional Instagram and Facebook. Please use them as well. And you can ask your questions through YouTube. Maxine, it uh, was a pleasure to meet you. And the word Maxim, Maxim in Hebrew is charming. Then you are charming. Look at the sun. Look how beautiful it is. And let me turn around soon and you will see the facade of the church. And then we will say goodbye. Let's turn around. There it is. And thank you very much for being with me. And we will see each other in the other videos. Bye bye.